Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com, and uh, today going to cover branch chain amino acids, or BCAAs for short. Uh, BCAAs are the amino acids that are primarily oxidized uh, during exercise. Uh, they're pretty popular amino acids. There are three of them, and uh, you can easily go look them up, so I'm not going to bother getting into great detail on that. Uh, the primarily important amino acid of the three is leucine for sure and there's a lot of exciting and interesting research going on leucine right now but I like to cover these videos in sort of a, a bottom line sort of way getting to the you know the real world usage versus science uh, or the scientific literature has to say within a pathway or animal studies or, or that type of thing so that's how I'm going to approach BCAAs and, and it's actually a fairly um, uh, inexact science when it comes to BCAAs and I'll, and I'll tell you why. On paper BCAAs are look great. Uh, when you look at the actual studies they're they're not particularly useful to healthy athletes and the reason for that is not that BCAAs are not useful but in the context of an adequate protein intake and adequate calorie intake and such adding additional BCAAs on top of what you're already getting in your diet is what does not look particularly impressive. Uh, now that's again, I have to give you a caveat there. Now if you're using whey for example, whey is uh, about 30 percent BCAA and if you take a big dose of whey post-workout or throughout the day you're already getting quite a bit of BCAAs in your diet. Now BCAAs might be more uh, conditionally useful, that is during uh, reduced calorie periods and as you're doing during a, a cutting phase or during a calorie weight loss phase that might be more where BCAAs make more sense as, a, as an obvious anti-catabolic uh, group of amino acids. There are definitely some medical uh, conditions where BCAAs play a can play a critical role. Um, I, I, as far as again off season when you're eating plenty of calories, you're eating plenty of protein and you're probably taking in some whey, BCAAs just don't really add up. Uh, uh, as far as the data is concerned on performance, again there really isn't much uh, uh, human data showing they add any real performance. So again where, where you can spend your money, uh, BCAAs just don't really make a lot of sense in terms of again in the context of a good diet, getting enough protein, taking away. Um, the other thing about BCAAs is you're going to you see them a lot in various formulas at a few hundred milligrams again a complete waste of your money. For BCAAs to be effective you're talking about again multi-gram doses for them to do anything and you're not going to generally see multi-gram, higher multi-gram doses in any particular mixture of formulas, pre-workout formulas uh, so forth. So again if you're going to use BCAAs buy them as an individual powder, mix your own, you know, put them into your post-workout drinks, that type of thing. But honestly, as far as money well spent on all the supplements that exist out there, uh, on paper BCAs are definitely not a waste of money, but they're not really where I would recommend people put their money considering what uh, other product can do for you. Now, uh, don't forget, I have a new book out, the Sports Supplement Bible, it covers basically, well, it covers a lot more in depth on BCAAs, but it covers pretty much everything out there, uh, A to Z, uh, I also cover the data and how to use them and what's worth using, what's not worth using and stuff. So if you want to get the lowdown, this is the book you want right here. So I understand that it still might leave some questions regarding BCAAs, but it's not a black and white issue. It's not one of those things where I can just say definitely worth using or a complete waste of money. It's one of those few um, supplements that s can fall somewhere in the worth using depending on your current metabolic situation or not worth using depending on your current metabolic situation. So I hope this video helped you and if it did please hit the likes and the Twitters and all that and uh, see you all on the Brink Zone. Now for more information on this topic head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog, more videos for reports on fat loss, muscle building supplementation, fitness health and longevity as well as a ton of articles in my free weekly fitness newsletter. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.